Hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's for a Living here. Thanks for watching my videos. And today is Wednesday, November the 8th of 2017. And just wanted to come on and just some chat. Just do some FaceTime with you guys. Um, and it's, it's kind of like um, coupon related um, somewhat because, um, you know, ever since I really took on becoming a couponer and doing all of this stuff, it's like... I have a lot more um, money around. I mean, it's just the way it is. I save I save a lot of money, and therefore I have more money to spend, right? Or I end up with deals on stuff, you know, gift cards, like all those Toys R Us gift cards and stuff, and and whatever. And so, anyways, I just thought I'd chat about that and and just some um, things recently that I've gotten, you know, or cashed in some of the rebate apps and that kind of stuff. So. Um, so, but first I do want to mention, um, I did get all my Ibotta rebates from my two trips to Rite Aid this week and they've all reset for me. Um, so I am going to buy some more stuff. Um, they are the Oreo, the Purex ones. That's what I'm talking about. Those reset. And there were some new saving star offers today. Um, so you might want to go and check those out, activate those. Um, I did get my, um, saving star stuff rebates from this week also that I was supposed to. Um, also, I bought that Thermacare yesterday and I noticed Checkout 51 has a dollar back on Thermacare, so I put in for that one too today. <laughs> okay. Um, and, you know, people ask me occasionally, what do I do with my rebate money? Um, uh, it's just money I have that I, you know, I feel like if I'm doing, um, like with Ibotta, Saving Star, Checkout 51, it's not I don't consider it extra money um, because it, I do deals because of the rebates and therefore it's tied up into the whole deal and it's really great if it's a money maker. So I consider that um, money, just money that I have. Because um, a lot of those things that I buy, I would not be buying them unless there was the rebate and it made it free, right? Um, some things like fetch rewards, or um, Receipt Pal and um, Receipt Hog, those, I'm not buying specific things to do those rebates, although Fetch, um, you can, they, you know, they, it's on specific things, but otherwise. Anyhow, I don't, um, I mean, those to me, it's, those are more bonus money, okay? Because I'm not buying anything really specific to do those and get, get extra cash um, or find and save also which I rarely get anything on find to save I, I never seem to qualify occasionally there's like there's one that I can submit for on there with Rite Aid or a CVS here and there um, but anyways those I consider bonus money <laughs> so those I will I'll, you know but then again it's like bonus money oh yeah I just keep in my mind you know well I don't know that I've spent them on anything in particular. You know what I'm saying? I just kind of, I dumped the money um, into my PayPal account. And, you know, if I need to buy something online, I have that. I don't let too much money sit in my PayPal account. So I withdraw it and it just becomes part of my regular money. But I will say, um, the Fetch Rewards, uh, I appreciate all you guys out there who signed up using my um, referral code. Um, I... I have $150 that I've cashed out. I had a little more than that actually in there. And $50 increments to get these gift cards is the most you can do. And um, about probably, I don't know, $20 or $25 of that, I actually got myself in rebates and submitting receipts on there. The rest of it was you guys signing up with my code, which I appreciate. Um, which my code on there, if you don't do fetch rewards, it's EE, the number zero, and then HW. Um, anyways, a buck fifty at a time. So I've cashed out one hundred fifty dollars, and um, I've got an idea of something I want to buy. Um, and so I cashed out to Amazon gift cards, and um, so I'm gonna see. But I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend that, and it's just gonna be um, buy something that I've been thinking, I've been thinking about it since last winter, <laughs> last Christmas season, and I didn't buy one last Christmas, so we'll see, I'll, I'll show you guys. Um, 
so anyways that's how I feel like I have some extra money you know I, I get extra money off of those doing those other kinds of rebate apps and saving so much money from couponing and everything else so and you know um, I end up with just random um, money gifts let me show you something um, so I have a Kohl's charge card and I got um, this home mailer from them um, which I get them all the time and sometimes I don't even bother to look at them you know extra percent off or something like that and usually I get 10% off and um, this time I got this came with a 20% off coupon on it that's good um, through most of next week but it also came with and the reason they actually sent it was because apparently it's been 14 years since I opened my uh, Kohl's charge card and they gave me this to get $14 off a $14 purchase hey they gave me $14 for free. Uh, I'm going to go take it. <laughs> and I haven't been to Kohl's in a few months. Um, and then also in there was um, a 10 off of 25. Um, that's good on Friday. This coming Friday only. And this 20% um, off coupon works. So basically with these two, I have to, I will have to spend um, $39 total. I get $14 free, $10 off 25. And then the 20% off coupon would apply to that remaining $15 or how much ever over that, over uh, the 14 and $10. I'll get 20% off of that. So I'm going to go to Kohl's on Friday, hopefully. If nothing else dramatic happens. Um, <laughs> so I got that. Um, I also got, it was like I got so much stuff this week in the mail for like, the, for free stuff, you know? Kroger sent, you know, me these coupons. And I got I got two free items, which is really funny. They gave me a coupon this time. Usually I get um, Jif Peanut Butter, Cascadia Farm Cereal, and um, they just had a recall on some cereal that I bought with them. They called me on the phone about the recall, and every receipt that, you know, and then the cashiers have to tell me because it prints out on the receipt, and it's been going on for a month. There was like, and I, and I wasn't going to take it back. I got the, the cereal for free between coupons, mega sale, and saving star rebates i got it for free and then they the only thing was is it could potentially have almonds in it which i wouldn't have a problem if it had almonds in it me i wouldn't have a problem so anyways um yeah so i got some more free items so it's just funny they sent me free but they want me to take it back and i'm like i didn't want to take it back i don't do that kind of thing someone asked me about that or made a comment like on something about uh i'm on my videos one time i bought something and then it had because this company had one of those money back guarantees that if you didn't like it you get your money back and like we were getting it for free anyhow and someone asked if I would was going to return it you know like call them and get my money back for it from the company I don't do that kind of thing it's like there's there's so much other much other stuff you can you can do uh, legitimately morally that's a, that's a that one to me lands in a moral uh, moral thing I don't I, I'm, even if I didn't like something, I've never contacted a company to try to get my money back for it. I, that doesn't happen. <laughs> so anyways, I also got uh, this home mailer from uh, Walgreens uh, for being a beauty enthusiast um, uh, person. <laughs> Signed up for the beauty enthusiast thing. So anyways, it had this uh, 700 po 7,000 points back on $20, which $7 in points back on it. It's only good the 16th, 17th, and 18th. Kick off the holiday season. So there's something else, more more free stuff I got from just whatever. So I also got this um, from Kroger a while back. I have gotten so many home mailers from Kroger, and maybe maybe it's because I haven't been shopping there as much as I used to. I'm like, I used to be in there every week. And um, so I've been there a couple times in the last month. But um, I also, I got, you know, get 200 bonus points if I spend $70. I typically don't spend $70 at one time, but this is on fuel points. Cause I do, I do use my fuel points at, at Kroger. Um, may as well. I mean, it, it's extra. So, um, that, and, um, and then also this week I got, um, an AutoZone gift card in the mail because <laughs> I have to, oh my gosh, my truck has been stranded dead for a couple of months now. Um, the fuel pump went bad on it. Fortunately, it died at my man's house. So anyways, we started working on it. Now the cold weather's got here and it's like, it's not going to be any fun to try and fix this because it's just, it's turned into one thing after another. And we should just tote it over to the friend's house. He's got the, the, the car lift in his garage. Uh, anyways, 
And uh, it, one thing after another has been going on since this happened. But anyways, I had already gone and bought the fuel pump, and I happened to buy it at the right time to get $20 uh, AutoZone gift card back for buying. I didn't even know I was going to get the rebate when I bought. I needed the fuel pump for my truck. So, so now I got 20 bucks of free money to spend at AutoZone, really. But I think about it, is it, you know... It's going to pay for something that I actually need for one of my vehicles or my man needs, you know. And AutoZone's pretty good because um, they got a rewards program if you don't do that. Um, and I just give them, I just use my man's card because, like, if you spend $20 five times in a row, you get $20 free or something like that. So um, we always just use his and he's got money, you know. To spend on other things he needs so anyways um yeah all that and um oh yeah and then i wanted to talk about the um you know a month ago we got we were buying pepsi at rite aid and you could cash in for free movie tickets and um um so me and the man um we went and saw blade runner on saturday um which was all right. Yeah, it was a good movie. And, uh, and so that's how I used those. So I did did get the free movie tickets there and used that. And um, uh, I don't have anything else. Um, Running Kimono, she had um, got the free um, USA soccer scarf. I never submitted for that. That was like buying some Johnson & Johnson products I think <laughs> so band-aids or something which I guess I could have submitted for that which is kind of funny because if I can get something for free even if it's something I necessarily don't want I tend to go ahead and do it if it's it's easy enough to do and I guess I should have done that one um I feel like there was something else that I had submitted for recently and I can't I can't remember what it is I don't know what that was but anyhow and um just a uh, to go along with other things from Rite Aid that we got for kind of free-ish. Um, all those Toys R Us gift cards that I got. So I actually unloaded um, seven of them that I had. I had 13 $25 gift cards. So I unloaded seven of them for 20 bucks a piece, which I was happy to do. So <laughs> now that I've done that and I sold, or it was sold, I shouldn't say sold. I My sister paid me back for the cost of some of those diapers and my cousin. Um, I still have lots of huggies that got me these Toys R Us gift cards that I haven't um, gotten rid of yet. But, um, I do, um, I, I got five more of these Toys R Us gift cards. So I think I'm pretty sure, unless somebody specifically comes to me, cause I told other people that I had them and I would sell them for $20 a piece. Um, I, I think I'm going to keep those. I, I'm, I did go over to Toys R Us and look, and they have um, some quadcopters um, for like eighty dollars. And so I'm pretty sure, because I already told my man I was I was kind of going to surprise him, but then I talked to him about it to see um, if he if he would think it'd be fun to have one. So <laughs> so um, I think I'm going to spend the money on quadcopters. Um, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure, but I'm thinking I. I'm, I'm kind of in debate because it's like, go ahead and get it now or wait till it gets closer to Black Friday and see what, you know, if there's some sales, you know, or between now and Christmas. It's not like the, the gift cards aren't going anywhere. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So whatever I do, I will let you know with, with my leftover um, $25 gift cards that I have still. So I was glad to unload as many as I did <laughs> and everything. So, um yeah, I think that's everything I have on here. And um so I've I've um the the other thing, the the weather got cold, so I got my uh winter coat out. And you know, I tr try to clean out my coat pockets before I put them away for the season, you know, or whatever. So anyways, I get it out and I was like, "Well, let me see if I got anything in these pockets, you know." And sure enough, I did. And look what I had. <laughs> right here. I had gift cards hidden. And these Best Buy gift cards, I, I'm thinking they've got $50 on them. Um, I don't know. They might be, but they haven't been used. So, so here's some, here's some spending money that's been laying around since last year. Okay. So I got, I got to take care of those. I can't believe how many gift cards I have piled up because normally I don't 
I don't try to let them sit around for very long. It's like because you forget about them or whatever, you know. I usually carry them around with me, so I spend them out. But um, it was funny about the Sears one because, I mean, I don't even remember getting this. I don't, even, I don't you know, I'm sure I got the Best Buy ones at, at Rite Aid, you know, get some money back or whatever. I think I must have thought I was going to spend them at Black Friday last year, but I don't think I went to Best Buy Black Friday last year. I am looking potentially to get a new cell phone um, this year. I'm, they do these stupid lease plans now and I don't, I don't want to lease a phone. I don't, I don't like the whole idea of leasing things. And, um, and so I'm, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do, but I, in the past, I've gotten all of my cell phones straight from, um, Best Buy on Black Friday deals. So, um, I doubt it. I doubt if they're going to have a deal where I can get a, another smartphone for free or whatever, but I do have some cash there that I can put in it. I, I'm certainly not going to pay $700 for a phone. I know I'm not going to do that. So, and the only reason I'm, I'm actually looking for a phone because my phone is working just fine. It's just that, um, one of the rebate apps, uh, I can't remember which one it is. It wants to do an update. But I can't because it's not compatible. It tells me the update's not compatible with my phone. So um, I think that's um, Receipt Pal. Receipt Pal, yeah. Like, so I can't do the update and because it doesn't work with my phone. And I'm getting ready to cash out on on that. Like, I need to finish off, like, four, I need, like four more... Um, receipts entered and then I can um, uh, cash out the max value $40 is the maximum and so I'm getting ready to do that I'll get that this week I'm sure and um, and then I won't be so concerned about that app if it doesn't work with this phone anymore because um, that's what I'm afraid of that eventually it just is outright not going to work for me and then I'd be stuck I'd have to like ask, <laughs> ask my man can I put this on your phone so I can you know cash it out at least so anyways, I'm stuck with that, but anyways, yeah, but that's side point. I got, I got this Sears gift card, which is really funny because they just closed the Sears here, um, the one closest to me, and now I don't even know where the next closest one is to me. The Kmart closed last year, and um, so I'm not sure if there's any Sears left in Louisville or not, but I called uh, to see if it had a balance on it, and I got $16.60 on it. So I think I'm just going to have to do an online purchase, um, maybe with this. I don't know. I'll think about that. Um, I am going someplace. Well, no, that wouldn't work. Can't. I bet Sears ain't going to be open on Thanksgiving, well, if they're open. So anyways, I think I'm just going to have to cash this one out, um, which is kind of sad because we did go shopping as Sears looked at their clearance stuff and spent more than $16 uh, on clearance stuff when they, when they closed the store here. A month ago <laughs> so it's only been that long and I didn't know I had the, the gift card so now it's making me think how many other gift cards do I have uh, tucked away so I think I'm gonna go on a mission to like look any place that I would keep gift cards and um, and try and get rid of them <laughs> so that I don't end up with it I'm kind of surprised that I guess they don't have that rule you know because some gift cards is like if you use any amount then it starts you know they charge you a dollar or two dollars of um, you know, a month service fee on them and then you end up with zero dollars. And, um, I know somebody said that happened on a, or just some gift card they had to a store and they had gotten it as a gift and then they re-gifted it to somebody else. And then the person came back and told them, you know, I went to use that gift card and it didn't have any money on it. Like it had, it had all run out because of the service fee on it or something. That's that's a terrible gift <laughs> when you do that. So, all right. Anyways, okay. I've, I've yammered on for 19 minutes. That's crazy. Okay. Um, yeah. I guess I was thinking today about um, about Vlogmas coming because it, it's we're halfway. Well, not quite halfway through uh, third of the way through um, November. So I think I'm going to do Vlogmas again. Um, in December, I'm going to see December 1st won't necessarily be a good day for me to start because of some stuff that's going on on December 1st. I already know about, but it's going to kick off my, my holiday season. Um, so I may start Vlogmas a little bit early, like sometime after Thanksgiving and then, 
and and do vlogmas again but you know me i don't do vlogmas every day if you've watched me do it the past couple of years so okay anyways i'm gonna stop before it hits 20 minutes i'll talk to you guys later